Oh, the, Carl, uh, Carl, listen, listen. I was thinking, do you think Neil will let us have these? That's he might do. Should we ask him? Yeah. Neil, can we have these? Absolutely not. Fine. Okay, <laughs> well, it's, you know, you don't ask, you don't get. Right? Exactly. So, yeah. Hi there, I'm Carl. This is Mark. Welcome to Pop Along RC. So, Carl, where are we today? Very exciting. We are here at Sundon Models. Oh, no, no, no. <gasps> Look at this. Look it's at a model this shop. Us, I tell Look you at what. that. Amazing. I, but I want that. I want that. I want all of them. I want it all. But oh, no, do you know what we've got today? What we got? Have a look at this. What you got? Oh, my back. Oh. Oh. Watch your back. Hit that. Oh. Oh, one of these. Fresh look in the packaging. Look at that. Look at that. Right then. It's time we get inside this box. <laughs> go on, Cole. Get inside. All get right. Inside. Here we go. Here we go. Brand new. Brand new. Look at that. Do you know what's so special about this one? What? It, it, it's one of the nice colours, boss. Because they do this in a few different There's colors, a few right? different colours. I think there's six different colours, okay. if, uh, if my memory serves me correctly. Yeah, uh, yeah we've got six different colours on the front here. Should we get inside the box box? Yeah, get inside the box Let's box. do it. All yeah. right. Where's your knife? Do it. Okay. Can I get this bit? You can get that bit. There I'll you go. Ah, OK, handset. Okay. Handset, you've got. So right. if I come in this end, I might find yeah, I've got something else. Yeah, you do that end, I'll do it then. Okay. All right. Ooh. I've got polystyrene mine. Yeah, I've got polystyrene this end. Do you want to pull it out, shall I? You do it, you I'll do, do it. it. I'll do it, I'll do it. There it is, there it is. There it is. Oh, look at that, look at that. Wow. Wow, we. I'll tell you what, Mark, do the honours. Get that do off the, the shell. Do the honours. Can I do it? Can Go do on, it? you do it. Okay, it's it. all yours. So do it slow or fast? Just do it fast, I want to see fast. it. Right. Wow. That do you know what? That has got to be my favourite colour scheme out of all the options that are available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen this before, so... We haven't. Do you know what? We have um, been out with a Hoss on a couple of occasions, mm -hmm. and we've also been out to the skate park with the X-Max. Now, this one sits somewhere in the middle, and this is the Traxxas Max, and yeah. what a beauty she is. Can I just say one thing? Go on, then. Look at how tough the top... Look at the shell. I mean, that is designed, isn't it? Really, that is to designed sort of to take over. an yeah. absolute Absolutely. fashion. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, over, yeah. Now, you only have to watch our hospitalised video of the Traxxas Hoss to see how much abuse these Traxxas cars can really take. Because yeah. we really put that car for its paces when we took that one out, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and say, when we jumped the X-Max over the river, that took a fair beating on yeah, that day did, as well. Did, did, did. So uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I am very confident that this car can take just as much of a beating. You got, let's, let's have a look at that transmitter, Mark. It's nice. It's very right. nice Standard indeed. Standard stuff, isn't it? Standard it stuff. is. Nice what options have you got on there, though? Uh, usual stuff, usual trims and whatnot, but I like their handsets. They're quite um, comfortable. Obviously, you've got your nice little foam bit on there as well. Awesome. Very good. But, Mark. Mm. Yeah. I know it's, it, it looks nice, it feels nice, but there's yeah. so much more to this controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the TQ controller from Traxxas, and with every single Traxxas car, you will get yourself one of these. So it doesn't matter whether you've got the X Max, the Max, the Hoss, the Bandit, um, the Slash, I'm running out of names, but they've got, they've got a massive <laughs> yeah, range of cars. It's a clever feature. It is yeah. a very clever feature. But what you do is you can get a Bluetooth adapter, which I've got one under here, and this will help you attach the transmitter to your phone. Now, you get the information inside the box and inside the box there are some simple settings and all you have to do is tell this what car you have and automatically it will set up all the reverse throttle, yeah. braking, everything that you need to adjust. It will do automatically simply by using yeah. the system. So it's fantastic. And also uh, additionally to that, any car that tracks has make also it gets updated so uh, the app constantly so if they bring out a new car yeah. the app will update yeah, and then yeah. wirelessly it'll update yeah, your cool, transmitter yeah. very clever technology so not just a pretty little controller exactly okay so it's worth saying that this is the max mm. and there is another car in the range yeah. which is called the x max but how much bigger than the max is the x max ah. we need one there it is. There wow, it is. we. <laughs> that is a beast. Look at that. So you can quite see quite clearly there that there is yeah. a significant difference in the cars. I absolutely love the way they are like big brother and little brother. They're so, they're like twins, aren't they? Daddy and son. They, Daddy they, now and there's, son. there is a Daddy father and son, and son yeah. RC setup, that is a, isn't that it? It's an RC relationship. God, I can imagine my son with this one, and uh, I'll have the big one. Yeah. That'd be quite cool. 
hitting the skate parks and the BMX tracks. Very good indeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if we, do you want to do the big one, boss? I'll do, the big I'll do one. this little one oh, down man, here. This is such a huge oh. one. Right. So, have you remembered how to take off the shells? Uh, yeah, I think so. Look at that. So as we say, we've got this well, design say, yeah. on the inside where it hooks into the chassis so we don't have to worry about losing pins when you're out and about. And as I said before, that is just the bane of our lives as RC drivers, isn't it? Losing pins. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> so if we have a look at these cars, they are scaled down versions of each other. So the chassis design is very, very similar indeed. I think that one's got a few more um, bridges across the top there to give it a little bit of extra stability, yeah, so, yeah. but um, it looks very similar. Now, it is worth saying that with this car, it runs on one battery on this side, whereas with the X Max, because you can run it up to 8S, you run a 4S on either side. So all of the tech and all of the speed controls are down the center of the car. We've had a look at the chassis. Yeah, We've yeah. had a look at the controller, but what is powering so listen, this listen, beast? Listen, listen, listen. I, need I, to know. I am a fan, right, of Traxxas cars because, you know, we put ours through, 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 through their paces, right? We have indeed. Uh, and they are, from, from, from when we've used them, they've been pretty, pretty waterproof, right? We confidently jumped it over a river yeah. um, because we know that everything inside it is waterproof. Yeah, 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 exactly. And, uh, as yeah. long as we, we don't mind getting our feet wet, do no, we? Exactly. Going to retrieve it. So yeah, everything in there, waterproof. Yep. All yep. good. Yep. Real sturdy stuff. If you look at it, I like the way they really house the receivers because the receivers generally aren't, and, and I think it's just the gubbins that keeps it waterproof. But the rest of it, yeah, pretty sturdy stuff here. It's got this VXL 4S speed controller. That is a hefty unit. That is massive. With a it? fan, of course. And then, of course, the motor heat sink's got a fan on it as well. Uh, and a big old beefy high torque servo. Um, but yeah, I mean, looking at it, pretty sturdy stuff. I don't think you're going to be rushing out getting spares for it anytime soon. I think it looks pretty. If it's, if it's like the Haas or the other cars that we've used in the past, then it's safe to say this is going to be uh, a good basher. You know? It is indeed. Okay, so we've shown you Big Brother. Now, there is another car that some people compare to the Max, which is the Haas. And this here is the Traxxas Haas. But it is worth saying that it's very different. Whereas the Max is a scaled down version of the X Max, the Hoss is uh, completely different actually. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll just pop that off of there and we can see exactly why. So when you have a look inside this one, there we go, we can see that that chassis design is very different. Um, everything about the, the Max in fact is a lot bulkier, a lot chunkier than this. The Hoss is a uh, tub chassis, whereas that is a monster truck, a lot beefier. Yeah. So this is actually very similar to the uh, the Slash chassis. Yep. Very nice. And again, a nice car in it. That is a very nice car. So coming from a uh, racing background, handling is very important to me. It I is. do like a car that handles. Now, from my experience of bashing, do you know what the worst thing is? Go on. It's when you send the car, and then you're sending it, you're sending it, it's miles away, you turn it to bring it back, and it rolls over. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. So, do you know what, it would be kind of handy if they made these a little bit wider, so they had a little bit more stability. Yeah, true. Although, it does have its self-writing mode, which is quite good, isn't it? That sense. is quite handy, that is quite but, handy. But, you were, yeah. I'd rather not roll it in the first oh, place. No. Well, it's funny you should say that, Carl, because Traxxas, in their infinite wisdom, kind of knew that, and, they, okay. yeah, and they've designed this, uh, this kit here, which I have here which is the wide max kit. A lot of people recommend putting this on. Obviously it makes it wider and uh, you know, it don't turn over so easily. Simple as that. Really easy to fit as well by the look of it. Should we do so, it? Yeah. Should we do it? Yeah, well we could do. We should. Yeah, we should. We should. Should we do it? I think so. All right then. We're really looking forward to getting this max out and about and seeing what it is capable of because we have been super impressed with both the Hoss and the X Max. This one's next. So Carl, we've got the charger. That's another video, by the way. We've got the handset, we've got the cars. We've got the wide max kit over here. We've got here the wide well. max kit. Hey, and Carl, I've got Carl, the... Carl, uh, Carl, listen, listen. I was thinking, do you think Neil will let us have these? That's he might do. Should we ask him? Yeah. Neil, can we have these? Absolutely not. Fine. Okay, well, it's, you know, you don't ask, you don't get. Right? Exactly. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's worth saying, though, if we did have all of these, yeah. 
we could control all three of these cars off that one transmitter. That is a very good feature. Using the old Bluetooth. There you go. Lovely jubbly. This wide max kit, I got an idea. I like my little one minute videos. I like your one minute videos. Do you like them? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna do one uh, right after this video actually uh, on how to fit this. So tune into that one. Okay, so there you have it. We've had a fantastic time here at Sundon Models. Please tune in again to see these cars in action. All right, so like, subscribe, smash the old ding dong bell, and we'll see you soon.